So that's what I'm really thinking. But I didn't say any of that. Like, none of it. Fucking game dev hippies. Imagine you're 15 years old sitting in math class. You just had lunch with your friends and you're all hopped up on flaming Hot Cheetos and snack packs. And you get that feeling when your teacher starts talking. That feeling that you just don't care and he already took away your phone so you have no choice but to doodle the weirdest crap in your notes. That, my friends, is the essence of Drawn to Death. Drawn to Death falls under the multiplayer brawler genre combined with a third person shooter. As I described earlier, this game is literally straight out of a teenager's notebook, including all of the weirdest stuff you could imagine. Both coins have spawned! This weirdness provides us with a variety of characters to play as, as well as unique abilities and a variety of weapons and power ups. After a short tutorial, this game is made up of a small variety of multiplayer brawl game types. You're given the option to play online against other players or at home against friends. Victories give you experience to level up each character and unlock player cards, weapons, and more. Although there are a lot of creative nuances to this game, there just isn't a lot of replay value or room to expand. The levels are small, and you can experience just about everything this game has to offer after just a few matches. Overall, Drawn to Death is a game that I'd like to imagine was created by Sid from Toy Story. No one's ever attempted a double bypass brain transplant before. It's a game that I'm sure could be enjoyed with friends from time to time but won't be missed if you choose to skip over it. And it's for this reason that I rate this game 88 chicken nuggets out of two bookmarks. Hey guys, thanks for watching this review. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.